hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video i will give you the idea about synthetic key you have been hearing about synthetic key a lot and uh, so first of all what is synthetic key it is a key that gets created when you are joining more than one field between two tables so sometimes it happens that in two different tables you have more than one field and if you are not cautious and just running the load statement both the or three or four how many fields are there which are having the common name between the two tables will get joined together and when they get joined together they create a, synth a separate table which is a synthetic table and within that one key which is basically a combination of one key so I think that's pretty much it uh, what I've written in the next statement that uh, generally we should try to avoid using synthetic key by either uh, creating a compound key which is like by concatenating two different fields or concatenating the table itself or using the qualify statement which I have explained in the one of the previous videos um, so that there is no data error due to the cross multiplication or the cross tab of values among the fields that were created in synthetic table sometimes it does not create it so you should be very very cautious once it is gets created and uh, always evaluate the result but it's better in every circumstance to to avoid it all right so let me show you in the front end i just don't want to stop it here like the one of the two previous videos because that were relatively straightforward but i think here let me show you what to do uh, when it happens or how it happens because I have already shown you concatenate I have already showed you qualify compounding key is, is is a concatenation of two different tables what I have not saved let me save that go to load editor and here in this section I have the tables right so I have two table right now I am concatenating as you can see to avoid the synthetic key but if I say new underscore orders this is what it is and let me try to save it and you will see that this table and this table is absolutely same so in my view or as per the click sense functionality it will create the synthetic key on all of the keys so let's go ahead and spoil it and let's click close and let's go to data model viewer and here it has created a table and by default it has done the concatenate so what happens is that's that's another good thing that it has happened and I recall that if each and every field name is same then it will going to concatenate it by default the click sense functionality is that so let's go again into the data load editor and try to change the name of at least one field so that's good that it happened and I could recall that why it happened so what I'll do is I will just remove this by adding a comment like this and hit save and uh, maybe I will just do one more as change the name of this field as order underscore priority just to make sure that you are seeing this priority priority am I writing right PR no yeah, that's right let's see it load one synthetic key cool we want that and data model viewer so a very very important thing that happened just before few minutes back that it concatenated it it may come into an interview question or you can also ask into an interview question that why it has not created the synthetic key when both the tables are having the same fields uh, in uh, same field name in both the tables ideally it should create it so they should know uh, 
you as an interviewee should know or if you are an interviewer then uh, you expect that interviewee should know this thing cool so now you see we have uh, a synthetic table over here and it has a synthetic key syn1 and it is made up of all the um, all the uh, fields except row id and order priority if you remember row id i removed it from the from one of the table and order priority and changed the name in the second table so this way the synthetic key gets created and what it does is a cross tabulation of pro cross tab which is a general sql concept which creates a duplicate records and that's why you will get the error in the front end when you will try to sum the values so to remove that i have shown i have told you three different ways either you um, if there are two different fields on which this is happening then concatenate that and create a compound key and uh, it will create uh, one single key on which you can uh, you can join it and rest other you can qualify it so it 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 has come as a qualify statement you need to use and compounding key and third thing is if everything is same then either use the concatenate keyword or by default it will going to go ahead and concatenate because all the field names are same so i hope this this was able to clarify you and the issue that came in has helped us to increase our knowledge and remind why it does not happen so why why it did not it had not happened in in case or what what's the um, click sense basic functionality is so that's pretty much it i have for you in this video for synthetic key and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic